Aquarius, hello, how are you doing? It's us again. I'm glad to be back because I'm looking at new energy. So maybe it's not us again. Maybe it's a whole bunch of new viewers that have come back or returning subscribers who have been away for a while. Let me tell you what I see. Love, a new beginning, a new positive relationship in love, trusting in love, believing in yourself. Now this sounds a little bit cheesy, but it's really important for Aquarius because the energy I, Aquarius has been in lately hasn't been this. So for me to say the highest vibration of all is love and get really cheesy with you straight away before we even shuffle the rest of the tarot, that's important for you Aquarius because you're coming off the back of a lot of sadness and isolation, feeling left out in the cold, being alone, struggling to get a new beginning, struggling to make sense of these different areas in life. You could be an LGBTQ advocate or you could have said really, really something rude about LGBT community. You either hate them and have been rude or you love them and you're struggling with your own identity in that category. But I see the um, colours of the rainbow here and a lot of opinions about it that maybe haven't been nice, but you're trusting and believing in your destiny, who you are, and you're giving love to all people. I always say, and I'm going to open the reading in a minute, but I always say, all you have to do is talk to someone, get to know them, listen, hear them. Because beyond their skin colour, their age, their race, their religion, their gender identity, their sexual preference, they're a human being. And I refuse to live in a world and surround myself with anyone on this planet who looks at someone's skin colour, race, religion, gender label, preferences, sexually, body size, age, whatever. If you look at someone and you make a judgment about them like that, based on their outward appearance, I have no time. I have no time for you. Because in a world like this, we need more people to listen, to love, to care, to be respectful, to open up and be one. You're allowed to be you and I'm allowed to be me. So let's learn to be ourselves with each other. That's the beauty of the planet I love. Not the other kind with the hate and the abuse and the negative. So I see a shift. If you're LGBTQ and you've just come out, hell yeah, good for you, I'm proud. <laughs> Round of applause. Well done. Whatever it is, look, someone's come out about something. You've come out about your net worth, your dreams, your desires, your spiritual gifts and abilities, your new partner, where you're going in the future, where you want to live, what you want to do, what you want to see. You're coming out from sadness and isolation at least. So now let's go. If you resonated with that, hit the like. And if you are from the LGBT community and you recently changed your pronouns or changed your name, throw it in the comments so we can give you a shout out in the future and show you some real love. Affirm who you are today any way you can in the comments, okay? And we're diving in with the tarot straight away. Hit the like if you are resonating. Feel free to subscribe to the new channel. Let's go. Okay, straight away. You're manifesting the life that you want. And that is gorgeous. And that came through straight away. Really gorgeous energy, Aquarius. Yes, we've shifted that negative Aquarius vibration that was lingering around. You're in high vibes now. Or the old viewers that were struggling are off and out of the way. Beautiful. Because I'm looking at a Ten of Swords energy, which is peaceful. Surrender. You know, you know normally Ten of Wands is... Oh, sorry, Ten of Swords. I'm getting tongue-tied. My apologies. Ten of Swords stabbed in the back energy. But this deck, you are being loved and nursed back to health. How about that? Someone is loving you and nursing you back to health. They're hearing you. They're receiving you. They're understanding you. They're making decisions that support you. They're trying to be there for you. They're trying to get unstuck. They're helping you manifest. Not only that, they are putting their negative energy aside, their bullshit from the past, and they're making a vow to change and respect you and give you the respect you deserve. Finally, if you are now respecting yourself, others will. That's what it looks like. It looks like you've stood in your power and owned who you are, and, and now everyone else is following suit. They see you. I see financial opportunities here, some promotion, um, increase in salary, um, some funding going on here. Um, really interesting here because 
I see an opportunity that you didn't get in the past was blocked because business wasn't taken care of in the right way. Yeah? Whatever this is, gives me entrepreneurship energy, but it gives me um, a higher position in career as well. So entrepreneurs, I'm talking to you and anyone who was due a salary increase or a promotion or a new job somewhere, it was blocked in the past. Your new job didn't last as long as you thought it was or there was a blocking towards funding, getting the money that you deserve because something else was going on in the background and you were pushed outside. Yeah, maybe your 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 area, like your your desk could have got pushed outside. Your working environment, your office space, something changed. You got pushed outside of the main office, it feels like. So not only that, let me dive in a little bit more because now I want to look at whatever this situation is regarding you and others. Looks like your relationship with others in business. Yeah, you're letting go. Some things are not meant to work for a reason. And whatever you were blocked for from in the past, some of you were actually blocked. You were blocked for a reason, yeah? You had to learn a very important lesson about um, business, yeah? And healthy relationships in business, like... I'm re getting a lot of interest in energy, so stay with me as I dive through this, okay? You had a success in the past that started to grow, but then it stopped and you got pushed out of this new beginning. Something was meant to open for you. It didn't. I feel like even people wouldn't open the door for you. They had no respect for you. They were holding you back, blocking you from doing your job properly. And as a result of that, you went in your own way. Rent, like It's really weird. I'm getting mixed messages here because I'm speaking. And I don't know if you can hear the little weird things in my sentences. It's because I'm getting stopped in my tracks because there's two train of thoughts running. Because not only were you blocked energetically, you were blocked physically. So sometimes I want to talk about the physical blocking. Like you had to go around to another entrance in the building to get in. Like your key code or your, your, your key, car, key card only worked on one door. But then also they were blocking you energetically in communication and not talking to you. But they were also blocking you physically. Every time I talk about one of the blockages, they're blocking you in another way too. You were getting blocked here and blocked there. People, you ever heard of stonewalling? You were being stonewalled. You were being blocked from doing your job. So you couldn't get the raise that you were meant to get, the promotion that you were meant to get, the opportunity that you were meant to do get and do. You didn't get the rights to do your job properly you were blocked you've had to let go of that i think you walked away left that job behind you went on your own for a little while maybe unemployed for a little while now things are opening up things are changing in major ways you have been seen yeah if you sent in a job application a proposal if you've delivered something to the boss, whatever you've done, it's been seen, okay? Someone has seen this and things are shifting. Things are going to start speeding up for you now. Just make sure you let go and you, you grieve this properly. When we're talking about grief in this situation, we're talking about you letting go of the past. Don't hold on to what didn't work. Something didn't work. You didn't get that accolade, the proposal, the funding, the promotion, the salary you wanted, you didn't make the network, the friends, the colleagues that you wanted. Either way, it wasn't good. And you thought it was going to be great and it wasn't good. You went on your own, detached from this, because you were following your heart. You did what brought you joy. You refused to do anything that was looking good on the surface. It acted like it was going to help you, acted like it was going to be positive. All of it was negative, really. They're mean that 
Key, you couldn't even get into the room that you were meant to get into. Your office was moved to the outside. You were blocked from doing your job. They are all saying negative stuff or making implications about what you should do. One manager's told you to do this. Another manager's told you to do this. No one really knows what your job description is. They're telling you to do this and do that and do this and do that. And none of it makes sense. You're being dragged from pillar to post. No one knows the job description. No one knows what to do. No one knows how to respect you. No one knows how to support you. You're blocked from doing the job. Job. they don't understand what they're doing you could have been bumped out of pay as well you should have probably got paid more and you didn't they ripped you off or they didn't pay you for some days and they said that it came out of the tax or um, national insurance or either way you got bumped let it go move on those people weren't for you now you have learned that valuable lesson god is applauding you for doing what was right so many people in this world chase money chase clout chase attention do whatever they can for the spotlight do whatever they can to have the ego to have one up on someone else to look like they're making it and they're rich and they're successful and i'm the best in the business the bee's knees look at me everyone you're not one of those people you're humble you're honest you wear your heart on your sleeve. You don't need to show off. You don't need to act bolsy and flossy. You stand in your power and you be who you are. And that's what's led you this way. God is proud because the energy is like my child. My, my child has listened. So even if you've got a spirit, a, a father in spirit, then that's what I'm getting. My child has always been this way. My child always listens. My child always does the right thing. That's what I hear in my head. My child, my child, my daughter, my faithful daughter always does the right thing. So instead of you staying here for the for all the wrong reasons, your heart said, no, this is wrong. I'm walking away. I'm leaving. I don't want to be part of this. And you left. Because either way, whatever money you would have got from this, you would have lost your mental health. You would have lost your esteem. You would have lost your energy. You would have lost your happiness. Yeah. These people could have chased you afterwards. Don't leave. Come back. Where are you going? No, we need you. Uh, we'll offer you more money. They tried to make amends somehow. It was disingenuous and you still said no because they showed you who they were and it wasn't good enough. You deserve more and you know it. Simple as that. So you walked off, moved away from this and as a result now, you are getting a humongous opportunity. Yeah, you took a massive risk in your career. You walked away from a shady boss or a shady businessman, walked off by yourself, not worrying about clout, money, attention, popularity and looking good in front of anyone. And you was true to your words, stuck to your guns, did what you thought was right. And now you're getting, I want to say like picked up or scouted or taken to either way, because I see you on your own here, actually. God is taking you to where you're going. So trust your intuition. That's the main thing. Because I see the justice card by someone else helping you, giving you advice, supporting you. And then you being looked at by other people as really, really smart and powerful. And then you being gifted an opportunity and taken to a new beginning. And then a tower moment of how far you've actually come. So it's going to be a quick jump into a new job role, a quick change in salary, a quick offering and proposal of money. Something's jumping quickly to the point where you're going to start excelling in your career. And you're going to be gifted a lot for what you've been doing and what you've done. Because basically you were ripped off in the past. You were bumped out of a deal, bumped out of a contract, bumped out of agreement, robbed, um, taken advantage of. Yeah. And the fact that you just stood on your guns and you didn't make a big deal about this and you just did what was right and true and you just walked away, like, God is, like, impressed. Like, I will keep saying God, which is a bit maybe OTT for some of you guys for me to say, but it's it's whatever your God is, whatever your belief, some, a spirit, there's energy here showing pride for you. So if you've got passed on loved ones, like I said, if you've got a dad in spirit, someone keeps giving me this energy of I'm so proud. I couldn't be more proud because this is who you are and this makes so much sense. You always do the right thing. You always you could have done the wrong thing here and you didn't. It was so easy for you to do the wrong thing in this situation. It would have been so easy for you to do whatever you wanted and do the wrong thing and never be checked and just strive for nothingness. Not care about your job, not make an effort. Leave these people in the lurch. Go off and just not give a fuck. But you've done the right thing because you have a heart, you have grace, you have integrity. 
yeah i also get you have humor you're funny you so you made a laugh and a joke about all of this stuff but it was seriously not okay and you just bite the bullet and you dealt with all of the toxicity by yourself you have a lot of strength and a lot of willpower and you've been seen for that you've really been recognized yeah you were really wounded by this and you didn't even speak about it this really affected you whatever this was affected you mentally emotionally spiritually financially and you just let it go because you're used to people taking advantage of you you're used to have dealing with your emotions on your own you're used to being let down so you're used to being really really strong you are powerful yeah you're an incredible person in business you're incredibly gifted and talented at your job what you do for a living male or female you're really good at it and you don't get mixed up in conflict and drama that other people bring to you you stay firm and you see through the illusion and people try to ice you out or drag you in some people could have tried to drag you into drama some people could have tried to push you out and leave you out at the end of the day you was clear about what was going on and you owned it and you worked incredibly hard to get to the bottom of the truth deal with the issue at hand and as a result that left you iced out by yourself but you walked away with pride and integrity with all your money still um safe your savings your um last pay packet your other jobs whatever you do to make money however you handle your bills you've done it in an incredible way because you still came out clean and tidy and you're still on your own single independent boss energy real incredibly gifted talented smart driven person who was rocked and challenged by some bad energies in business who tried to take advantage of you and at the end of the day you've won yeah and now all that anyone can say is the truth about you because justice is out you and now you get your wish fulfillment well done there's going to be some kind of news coming towards you in the next two weeks two weeks to four months because it might start off with a notice in two weeks uh, or some kind of maybe even a job offer or job opportunity or application form you've got to fill out two weeks from now or in, in the next two weeks and then slowly over the next four months there's going to be an acceleration and change in this things are going to speed up finance money um different routes that you're going to take more funding opportunities more um development in business or career or more promotions more networking you're open up to a massive massive influential role right you could be a teacher as well i get in my head i also get like i don't know if it, classroom advocate i get a classroom advocate so there's something about some advocacy about classrooms environments teaching yeah sharing your knowledge sharing your wealth helping other people managing a lot going on here but it looks entrepreneurial but then it also looks like someone in business but you have an independent role so you know there's loads of teachers in a school right but you're not really giving me that you're giving me an independent individual with a unique role that works with loads of different people as well across the capital across the state across wherever right you've got a, a lot more jurisdiction as well i think over the next few years over the next few months something's really taking shape in your honor a new role a new way forward it looks amazing you look incredibly powerful by just being honest and true and having a big heart and loving what you do yeah you're going to be really, really um, satisfied in the future because of what you've done in the past. Yeah, God's always watching and God is always making sure that um, karma is due and justice is served. So just know that whatever happened, it wasn't your fault. It wasn't your issue. Whoever, whoever done wrong has done wrong. And now you move forward, keep doing right. And you're going to keep receiving reward and um benefits you may be getting a new salary with additional benefits and um reward systems rewarding schemes i mean extra stuff that you get included in your um contract or proposal um whatever it is this offering it looks amazing you're doing great keep going and do not change for anyone because you being you is what is making massive changes love and light aquarius